going on. Just uh, gonna do some uh, pack breaks. I did forget my card tray. All right, hold on a sec. Because things just got a little more complicated. Let's move this stuff first. What's going on, guys? So, um, I got a Diamond Kings Blaster Box. Um, I got a Upper Deck Hockey Tin for Series 1. And I got a case of these uh, Legends of Tomorrow cards for Season 1 and 2. I am very excited for those. I'm going to save those for last. Because hopefully those will be the best. <sighs> Sorry, I thought I was a little more organized. But I was not. Which is okay. So I'll be ready in a second. I'm just going to move this card tray over here. Okay. There we go. for now all right so I'm gonna do the Diamond Kings first then I'll do the hockey um, and then we'll do the Legends of Tomorrow last so this is the signature that I pulled out of the last Defenders box um, I was hoping it was gonna come in today the other case but it didn't that's okay, because I got the Legends of Tomorrow cards in, and I'm very excited for those. So, we'll see. Okay, scissors. Alright, let's crack some packs. So, I was a little disappointed with the last blaster box of Diamond Kings that I got. I didn't get a single hit. Usually, I'll get at least one semi-decent good hit. Okay. Alright, so... Here are my packs. Doesn't look like anything too incredibly thick. Maybe that last one. We'll see. Okay. Pack one. Diamond Kings. Here we go. What's going on, Ed? Good to see you, my friend. Oh, and first card is Mike Trout. I'll take it. Nice uh, artist-proof rookie card. Sammy Sosa. I like these gold Diamond Kings cards. So, overall, pretty good pack. I noticed when I open those uh, Legends of Tomorrow cards, I'm hoping that he didn't just crack a case, took the thickest pack out, and then threw another booster from another box in. Because they're all about the same. Okay. So we got a nice rookie card. Another artist proof rookie. Art of Hitting. Melot. Okay. So already I'm doing better than the last box. Up oh, Ted Williams. Up oh, and we got a Mike Schmidt legacy lithograph. Take that. Oh, 
one of those satchel patch cards. Carl Hubble, aficionado. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I do have five mystery boxes left of this current round. I'm offering one seventy-five for the last five. Uh, that's a seventy-five dollar savings. I need to make room. Um, so yeah. I also have this Suicide Squad spec lot. Oh, nice Fernando Tatis Jr. I'll take that. Oh, okay, so this is definitely a much thicker pack. So fingers crossed for something decent in here. You know, for a while we were just Castle Comics, but it really is Castle Comics and Collectibles because I collect a little bit of everything. Okay, I'm hoping it's not one of those cardboard inserts. Oh, nope, it is not. Nice Monty Harrison patch card. Okay. So I was close. I thought it was going to be the last pack, but it was the second to last pack. Oh, very nice. New Cal Ripken from my Cal Ripken collection. Huge Cal Ripken fan. Okay. So, overall, um, that was definitely a much better box. I, I The main hit that I got was that uh, patch card, which I am more than happy with. You know, they're just, they're fun to pull. You know, they're only like $10, 20 $25 cards, but it's still fun, fun to pull them. Especially when you spent your entire childhood cracking packs and never got jack shit because they didn't have cool shit like that back in the 90s. Or they did and they were just crazy rare. That is one of the nice things about Panini is that there's a lot of flash and pizzazz. Um, so I haven't been doing too much uh, recent hockey. Um, if you guys have been watching my uh, case breaks, I did do a bunch of 91-92 uh, Ultra Pro. Um, got a bunch of those Dominic Kassik rookies. Um, so what we're looking for in this pack is... Um, the Young Gun Rookies. And I do, I really do like, like the tins. And the tins usually have, like, nice inserts, so they're just, they're good, good to reuse. I'm a fan. Alright, let's see if we got any abnormally thick... Packs doesn't look like it, but oh, but this one's super skinny. Oh, that's the the bonus one. That's the the bonus pack that you get. All right. Let's crack some more. Okay. Here we go. All right, so these have eight, eight cards. In each pack.
And, you know, that is one of the downsides of, you know, getting the basic, um, you know, one of the more basic sets. You're, you're not going to get a, a hit in every pack. You know, there's probably one good hit in this whole tin. But I'll give them that. They're, they're, they are nice cards. Upper Deck does make great cards. So, Upper Deck Canvas. I do have two Suicide Squad Suicide Squad speculation lots. Um, the one you can see right here. First cameo of King Shark. First cameo and first full appearance of Mongal. Okay, so here's a Dazzler. <laughs> uh, I have a, a local sports card shop. Um... And he's, he always hooks me up with good deals. I don't have to worry about the crazy crowds. Um, you know, he lets he buys back cards for credit. Okay, here's one of those portrait rookies. Cracking packs, pack cracking, packing the cracks, crack the packs. Another one of those canvas cards. Hey, Ricky. How's it going, bud? Good to see you. What time is it over there in uh, Biscuit Land? Rookie portraits, half past nine. It's only half past four here. Okay, so this is the last of the regular packs. Um, and then you have that bonus pack that the tins come with. Oh, there we go. So we finally got a Young Guns. Very good. So this is the pack that has the exclusive glossy 
rookie cards. So not not too bad. Uh, these were my hits. I got a couple of those canvas cards. So pretty cool. All right, and now for the main event, the Legends of Tomorrow. So tons of awesome potential signatures in this set. Um, I I'd be happy with. Almost a anybody. Okay. All right, here we go. Good luck. If this one goes well, I might get another case and, and I'll think about doing character breaks. So if you haven't watched Legends of Tomorrow, I highly recommend it. Um, I haven't seen all of it, but what I have seen is pretty cool. So first pack, I got this foil Leviathan card. Nice. Link the sink. Got another one of those foil scene cards. So the autograph cards might not necessarily be in the thicker packs. Um, but I'm guessing the wardrobe cards uh, would be thicker. So. Okay. Foil card. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Papa wants a signature card. Another foil. But yeah, I'm pretty sure because it wasn't... I didn't get the sealed case. 
I have a feeling the guy weighed all the packs, took the heaviest one, and just threw another, uh, and just threw another pack in from a separate box. Otherwise, why not just keep it sealed? Foil Firestorm card. I'm going to put Link the Sink up front. Link the Sink. Okay, first stack down. No luck so far. Oh, that's cool. So I guess they'll do a like puzzle connecting card set. That'll be uh, fun to collect. Oh, nice. Nice Link the Sink foil. Link the Sink. So I'm getting a good amount of foils. Foils are always fun. Oh, got another one of those connecting puzzle cards. I'm always afraid that I'm going to cut the card. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'll be opening a pack and end up cutting some $300 card. Plank the sink. Plank the sink. Hey, Uncle Rico, what's going on, my friend? Snart Brothers Reunited Reunited And it feels so good Okay, coming down the home stretch, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more packs. Uh, 
Um, I got a really good deal on these. I got them for about a dollar and fifteen cents a pack, um, which is why I, I grab them. Normally, I'll only grab the uh, sealed case, but when I when I was gonna grab one, and then I saw he had twenty four available, and I said, "What the hell? I'll buy a whole case." I was expecting to get a sealed case, but what are you gonna do? He shipped the media mail too. And he used packing peanuts, so I'm definitely not going to buy from this guy again. As far as packing peanuts go, you get one strike. That foil Legends of Tomorrow. It's funny, I saw the white on this here, and I thought it was a piece of cloth. <laughs> piece of wardrobe. I got really excited for a second. And some of them are a, a little bit thicker than, than others, so it, it had a little bit of girth to it. I got excited. Premature excitement. Another uh, puzzle piece. Okay, last three packs. I'm psyching myself out, but this one does feel a little bit thicker. It does, I swear. Okay, last pack. Here we go. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful wonderful journey. Um, I was hoping the Defenders case was going to come in today, but it didn't. Hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. All right, last pack. Nope, no signature, but I did get another foil card. So, uh, that was uh, Legends of Tomorrow, Season 1 and 2. Uh, I'll definitely be getting more of those cards. I, they're nice cards. I like them. Um, so, yeah. So, that's about it. Um, I do have mystery boxes left. Um, I have this key lot up. Um, it's first cameo of King Shark, first cameo and first full appearance of Mongal. Mongol's daughter, um, who is rumored for Suicide Squad. You know James Gunn. He's going to throw a million characters in there. Um, so, yeah. So, let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Talk to you later.